I am the Honorable Fireman Chief Madam Ella Koblo Kulama of Sierra Leone, the first and only woman member of parliament. Now that our country has achieved, achieved uh, independence, I think that the women of my country will be very much interested in more medical facilities, more schools so that our children will become educated. In years gone by, we have suffered from more infant mortality and the rate at which the death toll was going up was very high. And that for the past few years, our uh, people have become very, very much interested in education. And there is the urge for people to send their children to school. A few years ago, while I was in the States, on a state department visit. Prior to I went in America, I was asked a question about communism in my country. And at that time, I was hearing about communism for the first time. Now that our country has gained independence, I'm sure that outside people who are interested in communism will make it their business to interfere into our internal workings of our country. I, for one, and I'm speaking for the, for the women folk of my country, will stand against any move to introduce communism in our country. We have far too many things to bother or to think about than communism. We hate interference and we have been practicing democracy and hope to continue to practice democracy even after our independence. Next year, 1962, we hope to have a general election. And it will be the first time all women in Union will be taking part in the voting for their representatives. And I'm sure that the women are looking forward so that time when they could be well represented in the legislature of our country. After general election, or during the election, we hope to campaign for as many women as possible so that we can capture as many seats in the legislature. For the simple reason, there are many, many things we'd like to fight for. For health 